Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the expression of switching threshold for a CMOS inverter. In the previous clips, we have found out the critical voltages VIL, VIH, VOL and VOH in order to find out the noise margin of my CMOS inverter. In this clip, we are going to identify the switching threshold because it's a very important parameter which will characterize the DC performance of the inverter. Let's get started. For switching threshold, we have seen that when I identify the switching threshold or when my input is switching threshold, my output is also technically equal to switching threshold. That is, if I have the value of VDD as 1.8 and value of ground as 0, my switching threshold ideally would be 0.9 and my output also at that point of input will be 0.9 volts. So input is equal to output when my input voltage is equal to switching threshold. And for this, we already saw that both my transistors NMOS and PMOS both operates in saturation region. We have already seen this in the previous clip. So now when we have both the transistors operating in the saturation region, we just need to equate through KCL the value of currents flowing through the NMOS and the PMOS transistor. On the left hand side of the screen, we already have the equation of transistor in the saturation region. Let's write it for NMOS first. Kn by 2 Vgs minus Vt the whole square equal to Kp by 2 for the PMOS equal to Vgs minus Vtp the whole square. This is Vtn. Mark it that this is the threshold voltage for an NMOS transistor. This is the threshold voltage for the PMOS transistor. And I have deliberately written switching threshold as capital T because a lot of times such mistakes students make. This is not capital T. This is denoted by small t switching threshold and this is nothing but threshold voltage. So we are concerned in identifying the switching threshold of a CMOS inverter. So now we know that switching threshold is given by VTH small t suffix and threshold voltage is given by capital T. For NMOS it's VTN, for PMOS it's VTP. Now let's quickly go ahead and substitute the value of VGS for NMOS and PMOS. Look at the left side of your screen. Kn by 2 VGS for NMOS is nothing but Vin. That is Vin minus Vtn square equal to Kp by 2. VGS for PMOS is nothing but Vin minus Vdd minus Vtp the whole square. 2, 2 gets cancelled and I will take the square root of the equation written above and I'll rearrange the terms. So this is Vin minus Vtn. Once I take the square root, because it's a square term, it will stay as it is. Kp by Kn and I've taken the square root and the rest of the term. Remember, when we take square root, we'll get two roots out of which one will give you an incorrect value and other one will give you a correct value and that is nothing but with a negative sign. So this is what after rearranging the terms and taking the square root is my expression. Now let's write it further in terms of V in. So that is nothing but V in 1 plus Kp by Kn equal to Vtn plus Kp by Kn into Vdd plus Vtp. Now we will do nothing but replace V in equal to switching threshold. So that gives us switching threshold equal to Vtn plus 1 by Kr. Remember one thing very clearly that Kn by Kp is equal to Kr. Therefore, Kp by Kn is equal to 1 by Kr. That is where I have just substituted Vtn plus square root of 1 by Kr into Vdd plus VTP the whole upon 1 plus 1 by KR. This is the expression of my switching threshold. Now we see that this expression is depended on KR where KR is nothing but KN by KP and KN is nothing but mu n COX W by L for N MOS and KP is nothing but mu P COX W by L for P MOS which clearly shows that my switching threshold has a relation 
with kr which has a relation with w by l and w by l is nothing but a designing parameter which will keep on changing the value of my switching threshold on my voltage transfer characteristics if you put some values of kr and identify the corresponding value of the switching threshold you will come to know that as we keep on increasing the value of kr my switching threshold keeps on reducing now this expression is going to be very important when we design cmos inverters which we will see in the further clips hope you have enjoyed and you have understood this clearly stay tuned thank you